Welcome back guys and you join us today in sunny Ripon So why not come take a walk with us and see what we can see in Ripon and we'll start by going down the arcade And we have been told that there's a good butcher's round here that does nice pork pies. But we're going to have to judge whether, if you're from Barnsley, you'll know Percy Turner's pork pies. And the other ones that Barnsley lot say are nice are speedies. So let's see which is best. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. in the market square and I do believe that in the market square every night for hundreds of years at nine o'clock there is a horn blower and I understand that there is four horn blowers and there's three men and one woman so hopefully tonight we'll get to see the horn blower. Look what somebody's done to these poles. Somebody's knitted. Soldiers. Don't let the super trooper like a gun on my knee shining like the sun. Britain's next got talent. Don't put it. <laughs> Nearly peed up against it then. So this is the first time we've been to Ripon. Do you want to walk that way and round? Back up. Yeah. We've never been here before, uh, so if we have missed anything, please leave it in the comments uh, and we can probably revisit. And I've seen a lot of, not blue plaques, but green plaques on the wall explaining stuff. And I think we're going to get run over. And I have spotted the famous Appletons across the market square just now. So we'll call back that way for some pork pies and we'll do a taste test. I've just come across this alley, it's got all purple lights on and it's called Lavender Alley at Fishergate. And there's, apparently there's one at St Albans, also known as Lavender Alley, or Bog Alley. I wonder why they call it Bog Alley. Because people use it as a... <laughs> yeah, as a shortcut. It's a shame there's no lavender plants here. And the smell of lavender would make it better. My shop, do you love? That is my shop. 
Wow, that was cool. Organised chaos. <laughs> That's definitely my shop. So we're just heading up Blossom Gate. That's Valentino's. On to Westgate. That were a short street. <laughs> these I presume it's something to do with uh, is it D-Day let us know in comments Oh, that's a nice shop isn't it oh, there's another one here look and they're numbered oh no it shows you where they're dotted around look so I'm, I'm oh look more commemorative stuff. Whoever's knitted them are very good. Uh. So I do think it is to do with the D-Day coming up soon. Oh, that fetches, if you go down there and round, I think it fetches up Duck Alley or something. That duck thing where we went, near Cathedral. And yes, I have got this right. There is a cathedral in Ripon. And we will, uh, if we can, take you for a walk round it. Look at that quaint, the Wakeman's House Cafe. And I can't read that flap up here. But I don't think that's something to do. It's the horn blower on a night. I'm not 100% sure. If I am, leave it in the comments and tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'll go for a walk around this way. So we've got down and it heads back to the market square, we're going to get run of it. And there's some more little, little knitted. Soldiers, aren't they cute then? That's a town hall. I'm not reading that old English, you read it. Except ye Lord keep ye sighty, ye wakeman waketh in vain. God, oh my God! I think he must diddly squat must have looked like <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Sounds like Gerald talk, don't it? So this is the. Cabman Shelter. And it was used by the cabmen when in bad weather waiting to pick fares up. How nice is that? Weather spoons. Oh, Ripon Canal. canal. It's a canal. Yeah. Told you what. Told you what canal. No, I said it was a canal. You said it was a river. The Unicorn Hotel. And it's a weather spoons. Me thinks we might be going for drinkies. So we're leaving the marketplace and we're heading down Kirkgate towards the canal. Look at him, I ain't bikes up. She's holding camera. Not answering that. 
Oh, wait a minute. Old Rocky Knot. <laughs> I didn't see that. Do all bits of what we call tap that other people call it nice things. I think they call this. Oh, another pub look. Royal Oak. Is this? Oh, yeah. Duck Hill. So I am presuming we are heading towards the canal. Tapas bar. <gasps> oh yeah. They call it. Have a look. Nice little tapas bar. What a lovely little roundabout. It's got all. War mem memorabilia, I don't walk across the road to show you, but it's to commemorate, it is, I think it's, eight, it says 80 D Day. But it's lovely. So, we're not walking to the canal, I've got it wrong. We're going to take you for a walk. That would a bit noisy. We're going to take you for a walk along the River Skell. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh no. <laughs> think it's a bit fast, fast flowing, buddy. Are you sure it's not that way? Is it that way? This way. This way. I'm the tall guy. Oh, buddy's in. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Damn it. Oh, look at that. Now I'd love to live here. Couple of wines, barbecue, side at river. Brilliant. What we're gonna left me look. He has a knacker doing these things. He just walks off and then I've got to guess which way he's gone. <gasps> Duck. Not as in quack quack. Duck as in low branches. Smile, you're Don't on camera. Tell me you had to duck to get through all these. I did. Tracy, I had to duck to get through all them trees. Tell me now. <laughs> Would you walk across that? Yeah. Come on then. That is how we're going, Joe. He's a Buddha. All right. Will you walk across it? Buy me a pipe and I'll walk across Come it. Come on then. Buy me a pipe first, I know you. <laughs> oh, now then. This looks posh. What's this called? Ah. You can buy me that pound then? Yep. 
definitely. So this is called the water rat. I hope that's yours you're spilling and not oh, mine. It's yours actually. Oh, I thought it might be. You smell mine. Well in pint. Well in fingers. Can I lick them up? What you got? Flatches. No, you. Uh, I've got a half to. I've got a craft beer. Craft beer? Yeah, I forgot what I've got of it. Look what ice for stars. It's on front. Deep stems. Oh, it's nice. Quite right, cheap. Mm. How much? For that? For four? Uh, about eight pounds a month. Really? Yeah. Eight sixty. Oh. Not bad. Me with prices. Cheers. Cheers. Look at everyone in it. <laughs> Save that bit for later. So guys, if you're ever in Ripon, take a walk along the River Skell and you'll find the water rat where the landlord is absolutely nice and friendly, so Neil said, because I didn't go in. And you can just see the cathedral in the background. So we're going to take a walk back up into the market square for a walk round and a little walk round the cathedral. So we're just heading up on the path. Through Ripon Cathedral Graveyard. Oh, look at these. These are really, really old. So I have got a fact about this cathedral. It has got the oldest crypt in England in this cathedral. And what a magnificent view this is. So when we get round to the front, hopefully if the doors are open, we can go in and have a look round. Bishop of Ripon, 1911 to 1920. And his wife. Wow. Now I do know when we went to Bolton, uh, dogs were allowed in that church, not a cathedral, it's a church. This is definitely a cathedral. Oh my God. It's huge. Look at it in the background. Wow. Is it as magnificent as the one I went in in Newcastle though? It does say no dogs, except guide dogs, which is a shame, really. These are really talented. So this is a pulpit.
It's a model of the cathedral. to visit. What an amazing place. Do you know what? That was beautiful. Yeah. If you do rip, visit Ripon, head to the cathedral. It is beautiful. So we'll head back into the market square because I think it's time to get uh, Appleton's pork pie and see if they are better than Percy Turner's of Barnsley. So this is one of three museums that you have to pay for in Ripon. There's the courthouse museum which is this one. There's the police museum and the other one is what's the other one police courthouse uh, oh, workhouse museum All the facts, aren't we? yeah well i just forgot it actually uh, and in my opinion i think they're a little bit expensive to get in i do think the courthouse one is 450 the police one is 850 and i think the workhouse one is 11 pound but don't quote me on that or you can pay 19 pound 50 i think it is and it gets you into each of the museums uh, but that's each but now we're from yorkshire but we definitely will not pay £19.50 each to go around three museums when there's that beautiful cathedral for nothing. Oh, now wait a minute. Let's have a look at this. So this building, the Portly Pig, served as the town council house and the borough police station in 1875 to 1887 so that's where Bobby's used to stay and we're back to Duck Hill with the lovely tapasses and these lovely knitted Yes, dear. We've named a shop here after your boobs. What? Messy buns. Where am I looking? Oh, messy, <laughs> messy buns. I ain't got messy buns. Have I? My buns messy. They are when you're eating. Come on. <sighs> And we're back outside the Weatherspoons and the Market Square, which I do think the market's on on a uh. Thursdays. Oh, and this is Appleton's Butchers that have been doing pies since 1867. So let's go in and see if we can grab. Don't get me one from 1867. Get, get me a, a I will. I will. 
Hello. Are you, am I all right to film? Yes. Are you all right to film? Yeah. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've heard this, this is, is the... Oh. I've got oh, it's a pain sometimes. Yeah, we have heard good. that you sell the best pork pies. Yeah, that's yes. correct. Yes, definitely. We've come to try two. Because <laughs> we say we've got the best pork oh, pies in Barnsley. Barnsley. If yeah. you've heard of Percy Turner's. I we do say Percy Turner's is the best pork pies. Oh, look. I'm the oven. Just two, please. As a best We'll do that for once. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to let us know. We will leave a good review, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Four pounds, if that's everything. Yes, that's it, thanks. No, it's all right, thank you. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, we let will let know. you know <laughs> if these are better than Percy Turner's. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh, look at them beautiful pies. So they said. We have got to leave a review. What a set of lovely ladies. And we will definitely leave a review, ladies. Very good. So the ladies in Appleton's said these are definitely better than Barsley Park Pies. Okay. So we'll see. Well, I'm not a Park Pies fan, but I'll try. You're trying for YouTube? I'm trying for me, I'm hungry. <laughs> Sit down, man. Nice. An honest review. Cool. Mm. This is nice. Good and better with a pint. <coughs> I do like the pastry girls. What? <coughs> Your inside's good. Equally nice too. Equally as nice as Percy's. Person is a bit more peppery. So, we've finished it, Appleton's pork pies. Verdict, I don't usually like pork pies, as you know. Uh, pastry, lovely, crumbly. Meat, nice and tasty. But, if I had to pull it down on anything, I like my pork pies with that jelly stuff in. I don't know what they call it. I like my pork pies with jelly in. And my, they didn't turn on in, did they? No. My verdict is pastry beautiful. Meat could have been a little more pepperier. A bit like Percy Turner's. They're nice and peppery. But I'm not pulling the meat down, it would be really nice. Yeah, it nice. I don't like the jelly in my pork pie. So I liked it even better without the jelly in. But all in all, it were a really, really nice yeah. tasting pork pie. Yeah, well, well, well done, money. Appleton's. So we're heading back to Reckless to go for a well-earned brew and a rest. And I think, are we going to get ready and go out for a, a couple tonight? Definitely. And hopefully Come we'll on. catch the horn blower. And I can't remember whether I've told you where we're staying. So we're staying in the St Mary's Gate car park. There's three layers to it. The top layer we've just come down. This is the second layer. Reckless is on the bottom layer. 
on a tour campus still here. Reckless is there. And this is £2.40 for 24 hours. 24 hours. What a bargain. What a great find. So well done, Rip and Council. So we'll catch you when we're ready to go out for a drink tonight. So we've just got back to it then guys and we've got a couple of new subscribers. So do you want to introduce yourself girls? <laughs> and you are? Shanice, not Ruby. And say hi to everybody. Hi, hi guys. <laughs> so you're going to be on YouTube you two. So guys, guys. two new subscribers. So guys, that's reckless, all locked up, we're all dressed up, ready to go into Ripon and have a few drinks. So why not come along and have a few with us and see what we get up to. And I promise I will be on my best behaviour tonight. Yeah. What's chances of that? I very much doubt it. She's drinking pop tonight I don't think so I think so not likely she's definitely on pop tonight after walking around Ripon all day I we, deserve we went, a well-earned drink we went out on Skipton if you follow our social medias Facebook you'll, <laughs> you'll see what happened in Skipton so uh, yeah she's definitely on pop tonight well, I think so right we'll catch up with you when we're going in for Spoza hopefully so we're going to nip into Royal Oak, that's just here, as you can see. Oh, what a nice little pub this is. Got candles on the table, very romantic. For me, not for Neil. But when he comes back, he says, Ah, much. Much. You need a weather spoons. I told you to say, Ah, much. £10.50. Daylight robbery. Ah, much. £10.50. Off to weather spoons it is then. Oh, it looks nice. <coughs> Cheers. Cheers. Make it last. <laughs> oh. I need the lot. So I'm going to take this lot with me. So you ready to come for a walk to love with me? And I'll show you around this pub. on the way back out We've just come out of there. Ten pound fifty for two pints. Oh, tight ass. It was nice though. And I googled a weather spoons. So guess where we're going? Weather spoons. No, back to van. In a weather spoons. So yeah, definitely. We're going into weather spoons because uh, ten pound fifty for two pints. No, I don't think so. Not when there's a weather spoons right the corner. So yeah, we're going in there. So this is. The Unicorn Hotel, and it's the Weather Spoons. Let's get some cheap beer. In we go. 
What do I have? Point to San Miguel, please. And I'll have a strong board out for us. And the fine to strong board out for us. Cheers. What are you doing here, Neil? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's six quid here. Win. Can't you tell it's from Yorkshire? We're going to rename this channel to Yorkshire's tightest pair. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you think we should rename it to Yorkshire's tightest pair. Cheers. I'm just waiting for arm blower. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> so that went quiet then. And it does. He's been blowing this horn every night for the past God knows how many years. I will look it up because I forgot and there is I think there's three men and only one lady horn blower so we've just come out of the weather spoons guys and in true Yorkshire's finest pair hi it is raining hi <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Yorkshire's finest pair <laughs> and it is right what the guy said in the weather spoons that we did ask earlier on that there is uh, a horn blower and tonight it is the lady horn blower and there is only one lady horn blower and here she is If you want to watch the full episode of that, it will be in another video. Yeah, definitely. Because it goes on too long. It, it does go on a bit. It goes on too long, so we will put that in a, in a she, separate video. So we're going back into other spoons now for another drink. We'll catch you when we get in. Good morning, guys. Uh, just want to apologise for not ending the video last night. We went out round Ripon, as you've seen. 
had a little bit too much. Uh, got up to this glorious sunshine, but we are leaving today, so I'm glad you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, please tell us why in the comments and we'll try and improve what we've done wrong. But if not, here's a thumbs up, ding that bell and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. It is free, so we'll catch you on the next one.